All right, today I'm gonna to be installing my MPG pendant to my Masso G3 controller for my Onefinity CNC. But as soon as I got it and tried to plug it in, I noticed there's a problem here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, this is the inside of the Masso controller. This is where the MGP pendant plugs in, but you're greeted with this friendly notice. You gotta remove the MPG connector cover, which is the gray plastic part. So, we'll do that. The problem is, when you plug this in, the door won't close. Now, I would have thought they would have, you know, figured a way to rectify that problem, but they haven't, but they only recommend that you take this, uh, the plastic part here off and put it in that way. So that's what we're gonna do today. I think we all gotta do is take these, a screw out here, take this screw out. Actually, a little nut and bolt. And we'll keep up with those. They could come in handy someday. Oh, wow. That come apart much easier than I expected. Look at there. Not near as pretty, but I bet it works better this way. First, you gotta run it up through the back to this little hole. Bring it out. Now, let's see what we can do with it. Oh, that just ain't pretty at all, is it? That's what they say to do. Hmm. Still gonna have to push it in there. It'll close. Yeah, I don't like that though. I don't know what else I can do about it, but it's just. Not what I would expect for something that costs as much as this control unit. But it is what it is. We're gonna run it and see what happens. I was thinking about these just being out here with all these wires and I don't like that metal being all in there. Probably would never matter, but better safe than sorry. I'm taking them jokers off. Good riddance. I had a couple of these adhesive zip tie mounts left over from a previous project, and I think this is exactly what I need. Construction book says do not over tighten those. And I'm sure that's because this is plastic and you wouldn't want to crack the case of this thing. So we just need to snug them up just a hair. Okay, got it hooked up, turned on. Uh, let's just see what it does. I think these are what controls how much it moves per click down here. 
it's just it's on the Z, so we'll test that one first and see. Oh look, how cool is that? And uh, why? Like a champ. X. Dude, this is gonna be so awesome. Let's go back to that Z. That's where I. When you. Awesome. <laughs> you got it. I'm guessing this is a thousandth of an inch, hundredth of an inch, tenth of an inch. Yeah. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! All right, I hope that was helpful to y'all. Uh, it's not a bad project to do at all. Uh, only thing I didn't like about it was having to take the gray plastic housing off. It seemed like that should have been, there should have been a workaround better than that. Uh, like redesigning the inside of the Masso unit so it would fit, but uh, that, and plus when I did take the gray housing apart, I kept those screws and it was a good thing because I ended up using those to uh, hold the plug into the outlet. And they were too long, but I, you know, they're going to work. It's not like there's a lot of action going on in there. So uh, it, it could have been designed better. I will say that. But as far as the function, man, it's flawless. I mean, it's going to be real handy. Uh, I'm really happy that I did this. And I think you will be too. So I do highly recommend uh, this pendant for anybody out there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a like and a subscribe, please. I'd sure appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thanks.